This is Mark Spooner with Laptop Magazine, and we're here at CES 2011, and we're looking at the future of touchpads. We've been pretty harsh in the past on click pads that don't that have integrated buttons, but Synaptics is really taking this technology to the next level with their ClickPad 3.0, and we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of what the look and feel of it is and what the capabilities are when it's tied in with the software. So what we're looking at here is the, the touchpad, and, and in the past, most of them have had a hinge design, and here you can actually click anywhere on the click pad and you're gonna get uh, a reaction, right? Yeah. So, and you're also gonna get increased uh, sensitivity and really cool gestures, maybe we can pull up. Um, so that's clicking and dragging, which is very easy. And maybe it's like some of the gestures, like the four-finger gesture upward to bring up all the op open programs. And then you can just easily, you know, scroll through them. And if you want to clean up the desktop at any time, um, if you have something open, you can just do the four-finger swipe downward, right? And that, and that cleans up the desktop. And you also get improved performance when it comes to, like, if you're in the photo gallery and you're, you know, switching, if, you're, if you want to do rotate and that sort of thing. And that's because it's an image sensor as opposed to a, a profile-based sensor. Can you just explain the difference? Um, an image sensor and a profile sensor are different. Um, the, you can actually track up to 10 fingers on an image sensor mm -hmm. versus a uh, profile sensor. Right. And you can uh, do this by... Uh, you know, tracking more than one finger. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, you know, better sensitivity. We have, uh, can try more things. You could actually do three. You can so you're do flicking different. through right now with three fingers. Through. Yeah. I can actually do a zoom to pinch to zoom. Oh, nice. So it's actually going to zoom wherever my cursor is. Oh, nice. So if I wanted to check out this thing in the back, it's going to zoom here, which is actually very good for maps. Right. And like you were saying before, there is like you have better pin, you know, rotate. Like you don't have to use as much effort. Right. So you actually can just rotate um, the image just really easily. Right. And depending on the application, you can actually rotate. Um, you know, more more than ninety degrees. So mm -hmm. if the application allows you to rotate thirty-seven degrees, you can do that. Okay. Um, but you know, in Windows Photo Viewer, you normally only do ninety degrees. So um, maybe we could just end with some of the scribe gestures that you guys are launching and maybe a quick example of what you can do with that. So you can actually activate scribe really easily by tapping your three fingers lightly mm -hmm. on the touchpad. Right. And I can actually launch uh, my email by drawing an at symbol. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take you whatever to your d default email is. So I got my Outlook right behind me. Right. Um, let's say I'm reading an email mm -hmm. and I say, oh my god, what's that, what's that word? Um, or I want to look something up. Yeah. Double tap on just the word. Right. Ta do your three fingers and draw a question mark, and it's actually going to take you directly to the search results of the word I hi highlighted. So it's going to take you directly to Roomba. That's pretty neat. And we expect the, this ClickPad 3.0 technology to come out in the next like, three or four months. Right. It's available from us now, but you'll actually be able to see it in PC notebooks in the coming months. And Scribe will be along with that? Scribe is actually available right now on um, www.uscribe.com. Mm -hmm. And it is available for a free download for anyone that has a Synaptics touchpad. But you'll be able to see it shipping with um, mm -hmm. notebooks in the coming months. Great. All right. So this has been a quick look at the uh, ClickPad 3.0 from Synaptics. And uh, we can't wait to get our hands-on notebooks that have this technology integrated. This is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine at CES 2011.